What is up, YouTube family? Welcome to the full reveal from my dive on Monday night where I hit up a lot of dumpsters and I scored at almost every single one. Oh yes. I could not believe that I scored at almost every single dumpster. That never happens. Usually it's like one or two that I have good luck at, but literally I got something out of almost every one except for the clothing store dumpster and the candle dumpster and the pharmacy. Oh wait, there was a bunch actually, <laughs> but whatever. But I did score at the dollar type stores, two different ones. I scored at the home goods type dumpster, the coat factory, the fabric store. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, whatever. Let's jump into all this stuff I got. Okay, oh my goodness. As you can see, it is a lot. <laughs> my husband came down and was like, he just shook his head. Like he knows what to expect after I come home from a dive. And he just told me, we're getting a storage unit right up the street from the house because he just can't deal with the clutter. And I can't either, I don't blame him. But I also have what you can't see behind the camera is a huge pile, two different piles, one to go to the animal shelter and one to go to the Salvation Army. And I'm still selling things. I just sold that, um, remember, remember that Jaguar I got out of the home goods type dumpster? Yeah, the battery was dead but I put it on Facebook Marketplace for $60, which is less than half of what those cars really originally are. And I sold it within 20 minutes. Yeah. So I'm slowly but surely selling things also, but I think once I have like a huge yard sale, I'm gonna make a ton of money and I'll get rid of all this stuff. But for now, we're getting ready to get our laundry room. Um, we have moisture coming in and we always get water. Anytime it rains, our floor gets flooded. It's horrible. So we're actually having a guy come next month and dig the floor up and put a French drain in. So we need to get all this stuff out. <laughs> but I keep bringing more stuff in, but that's okay. So let's go over everything I got and it's so much. Oh, here's what I did want to tell you. I also got a bag from the $5 type store. Do you remember that huge grab bag full of stuff that I got? Literally, there had to have been 50 to 60 phone chargers in there. Do you know that they cut every single one? Not one was not cut. I checked every single one. Ah, oh, I was so mad. So I'll start with that one. I only got maybe five or six things. We got some socks, which two have a match, which I will keep and use for myself. And then you guys have been giving me good ideas whenever I only get one sock. You're like, use it for cleaning. Duh, why haven't I thought of that? So I'm gonna keep these and use these. These are um, like a really soft fabric. I'll use these for dusting. So I'll wash all these, of course. Um, let's see, we got, there was only a few things I did not destroy. This is a notepad, isn't it, right? Yeah, little sticky notepad, so I'll use that. We got a random little, I don't know, squishy toy the girls will play with. There was also um, a big box of Elsa and Anna, or Frozen, whatever, um, Valentines. They slashed them all, but they slashed the bag of lollipops, but they did not rip them out of the package, so. I will keep those for when my kids want a little lollipop. There was a few earrings, not very many that were supposed to be on here, just two pairs, but I can donate those. A three pack of headbands, which I did not destroy, white, black, and gray, which I use these all the time when I put my makeup on, so I'll use those. There was a ton of glass screen protectors in there. All of them, except for one, was either missing or broken. Um, they, they really went crazy with destroying this time. So I got one, it is for an iPhone 11 XR. So that's cool. We got a little, I don't know what this is, but it's a 
mat Halloween mask and it just velcros we got a Toy Story tossle cap it says pizza planet it is dirty as all get out so oh nope 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 they sliced it in the back it can be sewn though uh, we got some dog days playing cards they're all in there and then they tried to slash this game <laughs> When I tell you the name of this game and you see it, you're going to laugh. I did not think this was serious. I thought this was a joke, but it's not. Here's the name of it. Spotty Steve, the pimple splashing game. Seriously? <laughs> oh my God, I can't even. Here's Spotty Steve. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Those are supposed to be the pimples. That is foul. All right, let's open this up because I, I want to know. So you fill this up with water. And then you put all those, you have to put these in or pull them out. And one of them will, whichever one you pull the wrong one, it'll squirt you. <laughs> that is disgusting, is it not? Look at those. Oh, goodness. Let me pick up my pimples that are laying on the floor. Those are disgusting. Um, I'll probably donate that. I really don't want that. <laughs> These, there were probably, I don't know, 20 phone cases. They broke them, um, scratched them, whatever they could do. This one is kind of, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the big scratch they put down the middle? But it's not broken, so that one saved. And then I saved this one. You're like really pretty. <laughs> so that's it. Out of all that stuff, that's the only things I could sell. Then I went to, I'm not gonna go in order, I'm just going all over. I went to the fabric store and I got a ton of sprinkles. They were in a garbage bag in the bottom. They tried to be sly so that I didn't see them, but I found them. We got a couple with this color. Oh, those are really pretty. We got a lot of these ones, a bunch of those ones. We got one that is like frozen colors, which is super cute. 10 packages of these. That is crazy that they asked $10 for that. I would never spend $10 on two little tubes of sprinkles. You can get a big one for like $5 at Big Lot crazy so i'm going to keep a few of those because me and the girls love to do baking especially in winter time and use sprinkles i even put sprinkles sometimes on their waffles or pancakes you know like a special treat so i'll keep a few and then i'll donate the rest or i might keep them for my yard sale i don't know and then we got some lavender vanilla hand soap also from that bag and dumpster which is completely full uh, the only thing that's wrong is the pump, I believe, is broken. Yeah, there's supposed to be a little spout at the top there, and it's broke. But I'm pretty sure it'll still work. Let's see if this soap works. Oh, yep, it does. See that? It squirted out. So it still works. I'll keep that. It smells really good, actually. All right. Oh, I also got from the $5 store I um <clears throat> like a wall charging port thingamajigger, you know put your phone in. You know what I mean. One of those things. I also went to the dollar type store next to the pizza shop and oh I was so mad. There was so much illegal dumpage I could not get to all the good stuff which was from the dollar type store in the bottom of the dumpster. And then they took a big bag of sugar and dumped it all over everything. So I was so sticky. My car was sticky. Everything was sticky. It was a hot mess including this tote there is sugar dumped all in there so I need to clean that and there's some glass in there but I managed to salvage this blanket which is super soft so this is gonna get washed and then that is going to get donated along with the blankets for the animal shelter because I do not need any more blankets in this house do you know how many blankets I have in this house it's crazy I don't need any more <laughs> so I got that blanket this tote, 
and I got these Crystal Up Bic pens. So that's awesome. We will definitely use those. And I love to heat totes around because it holds all my dumpster finds. So I'll wash that out and use that. Then we went to the Dollar Type store right down the street from my house. And that dumpster was over freaking flowing. That's where I did my dumpster dance. And you'll see why. <laughs> but I got a bag or a box of frosted mini wheats. The expiration is not until November 5th of 2020. The reason why they threw it away is because the box is ripped. But I have those cereal keepers, the little containers. I'll just dump this into that and I'm good to go. The bag is not punctured, so it's fine. We got a paint with water. There is a bunch of these in here. My girls love to do these, so I will keep those for them. Foster Grant reading glasses, some with the case, some without. There's a bunch in here. I thought this was pretty cool. This is a, a cigarette case. You can put your cigarettes in there. And you can plug this into your um, USB port in your car and charge it. And then you can light your cigarette. You pull this thing down, if I can do it. Pull that down and it will light your cigarette right there. It's like a little hot wire thing. We got a two-way sponge. It's supposed to be a two-pack, but there's only one, so that's fine with me. I'll keep that. Pineapple wax melts. Let's smell these bad boys. Oh, those do smell like pineapple. There are a couple missing, but don't bother me none. Foster Grant glasses. There's two pairs on there. We got two lone little earrings. A little, um, what's that called? Oh, why do I do this? I, I don't know. I can't remember what the freaking name of this base is. Whatever. But it's a little, like, fake plant topiary thing. But it's cute. I like it. I'll keep it. Now, on to the good stuff. Five, six, seven packages of Chips Ahoy cookies. Oh, yes. They are all good until February 21st, 2020 which is just a few days away, but they're filled with preservatives. They're not gonna go bad and grow mold all of a sudden. So I'm gonna keep two or three packages and then I'm gonna take the rest to work with me tonight. And then we got two, three bags of Skittles, the huge bags. Oh yes, three whole bags. These were on clearance. They all have clearance stickers on them and they didn't sell, so they throw them in the garbage. Same with the Starburst. We got four. Oh, nope, I found more Skittles. Okay, there's five bags of Skittles, four bags of Starburst. So, all those Starbursts and Skittles, which I am not keeping all of that. There, I do not need all that candy because I will eat it. And my husband just bought me huge bags of gummy bears for Valentine's Day, so I don't need those. <laughs> I will sit and eat them all. We got a bag of corn chips. We got ripple cut potato chips, two of those. Sour cream and onion. Oh, Tower of Cookies just fell. So I do not, we do not eat these. My family is brand specific on chips and cookies. Like they won't eat the, the cheap brand. I've tried. Don't ask. They're picky. Um, so I'm going to take these with most of those cookies a couple bags of Starburst and a couple bags of Skittles to work with me as well. Tonight. And I also got this large tote, which is the same as this one, just a little bit bigger. It is missing a handle on this side, but I don't care. I just use it. Like this one, I'll probably actually throw in the back of my trunk. That way, whenever I find stuff and I don't have a bag or there's not a box in the dumpster, I can just throw it right in this tote. So, that's what I'm going to do with that, but that is an amazing score. I love finding candy. Love it. Then I went to the coat factory. They tried to hide all this stuff, of course. Everywhere tried to hide it from me, but I found it. <laughs> There's no hiding from me. So, I found this stroller, and I'm so sad because they popped both front wheels off. I only found one. 
set of wheels for the front in there. I could not find the other one and I didn't even know that it was missing until I got home. So it is missing just one set of wheels, but you can buy those for super cheap. So I think I'm still going to donate this. Um, it is Mickey Mouse. It's super cute. It just says all about Mickey. They didn't destroy it. They didn't cut it, slice it, nothing like that. And I don't think this comes with it because I kept trying to put it on last night and then I realized it's not even the same red. They're two different reds. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but you can really tell here. I will donate both of these because I'm sure somebody could use one of these. Maybe they lost theirs or it got broken, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'll go back to that dumpster tonight and see if it wasn't dumped and look for the other wheel, I don't know. But I don't need one of these, my children are grown, hallelujah, and I ain't having no more. <laughs> so this is being donated. And this also came from there. It is supposed to be a phone holder. Um, there was a note on here that it was missing a part. Where did I put it? Right here. So you just put this into your vent and then it's missing the other side of the magnet, but I have one of those. So I'm gonna use this for inside my car. I found more underwear <laughs> what is with me finding underwear i don't know but these are ladies <clears throat> kathy ireland intimates i don't know what size uh 1xl and these were 4.99 there there is a rip on the front pair but yeah that's not really on the seam is it oh it is on the seam so they could be fixed but the other two pairs this pair and the red pair are perfectly fine so these will be donated. Then we got a little girl size 12 dress. It was $9.99. It is super cute. It has a little belt, little flowers on it. It's just plain white and black with some glitter, silver glitter. And then it has this super cute little overcoat. Nothing wrong with it. I have no idea why. I think it was a return. Yeah, it was a return. So that's why they just threw it away. So this will of course get donated. Then I found this sweater in there. Sadly, there's a big hole on it. There is, I don't know if you can tell, there you go, a hole right in the front. But that can be fixed. So I'm still gonna donate this because it's not my size. I think it's adorable. Then there was a bunch of shoes. Um, these shoes are definitely old and used. These can still be donated. I know they're kind of, you know, old and crappy looking. Not really. I mean, there's still a lot of shoe left in them. These are and one. I'm going to just donate these to good, Goodwill. Salvation Army, Shannon. Salvation Army. I don't know why I call it Goodwill. Because y'all come for me in the comment. Okay, I don't. It's Salvation Army. I just don't know why I call everything Goodwill. <laughs> anyway, I found a pair of men's size 12. What are these? Academics, boat shoes, brand new, nothing wrong, right and a left. So those will get donated. This pair of Adidas, these are a boys size seven and they are Alpha Bounce Adidas. These are expensive. These are like $100 shoes. I will donate these. Then we got a rainbow titanium flat iron and it's in here guys. And the cord is not cut. So, let's see, has this been used? Nope, never been used. Awesome. And I think that is it for the coat factory. Yes, everything else behind me came from the home goods type dumpster. So let's jump into that one. I was so excited. I was like, this is so cute. Yeah, and then I looked closer. It's broken over here. There's supposed to be a little, just like this, a little handle, but it's broken. And then in the back, it is cracked straight down the middle there. Pretty bad. But I had like three people comment that want this. So I told the first lady that commented, it's hers if she wants to pay for shipping. So I forget what the lady's name was, but I wanted to show her how badly it was cracked just in case she didn't want the base. It's cheap. It's not, it's like plastic. It's not ceramic because you'll have to pay a lot for the shipping for this just because I need to put it in a really big box. But if you don't want the base since it's broken, I can just pull the floral out and send you the pics. 
So just let me know. You know who you were. Then we got a ton of other stuff and they didn't destroy anything there. Thank goodness. I was so worried because I got caught there last week. So I was like, I'm going to go there and everything's going to be destroyed. But they didn't. So thank goodness. We got this little felt, um, you know, holder, <laughs> container, whatever. I like to put like the girls crayons or whatever and stuff like this. So we'll use that. We got a tablecloth, 60 inches by 102 inches. And it's this real pretty deep red, like maroon. So it's a really thick tablecloth too. We got a ton of cookie cutters. These ones are from Christmas. How cute are those? So I will keep those. Then we got some little penguin cookie cutters. There's a copper, a gold, and a silver. I thought these were cute. This would even be cute for a gift, so I'll keep these. I love these, so I'm keeping these for next year. These are wraparound gift tag stickers, set of 30. Those are so stinking cute. And these were originally $5 there. 20 greeting cards and envelopes. Inside greeting says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And they're just sparkly envelopes. And on the back, that's where it says the inside. Note. It's a set of two bottle opener and stopper. These are really pretty if you are into that kind of theme, which I am not, but I will keep those for my yard sale. I got three of these, which I thought were, at first, I thought these were skulls, like for Halloween. And then the more I looked at them, I realized I don't think that's what they are. <laughs> I, it looks like a jellyfish with a bow on it. I don't, I don't know what the heck this thing is. But it's just like a, a plastic tray, candy dish, whatever. Not really a candy dish, just like a tray. So I don't really like those, but I'll keep them for the yard sale. Um, we got a ceramic ornament. It is a Christmas spoon, and it says 2017 on it. But I will donate that. Shut up. Look at that price on there. Do you see that? $30? Who in their right mind would pay $30 for that? But $30 for a freaking ornament spoon? No, thank you. <laughs> That'll be the day I ever spend that much on a spoon. That's an ornament. Okay. We got a, just a plain little dish towel. So I will keep that. Wash it up. I got a Oh Holy Night reusable hot cold travel tumbler. But that's cute. I'll keep that. We got another ceramic ornament. It's a Christmas tree key and it says 2017 on it. So that would be cute. Somebody that bought a house in 2017. Donate. <laughs> this was super, 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 super. It was super cute. Lord help me. It was super cute. A snow globe wine stopper. It has a little snowflake in the top. Can you see that? And then look. There you go, you can see it there. This I thought was adorable, I'm keeping this. It's a little gnome and it's a little three bowl candy dish thing for Christmas, so I'm keeping that. We got a gift bag, it was a $2 gift bag and it is kind of ripped here, but I can still use it. So we're gonna keep that for next year. We got an active series leak free. Uh, it's one of these things you can put your protein drinks in and stuff, you know, if I can get it off. Yeah, it has this thing on it so you can shake it up, which <laughs> I don't work out and I certainly don't drink protein drinks. So I will keep that for my yard sale though. Some pinata holiday ornaments set of three and you can actually fill these up. I thought those were adorable. And then I got all these letters. I wish I would have found a Z, but of course, never ever find a Z in anything, ever. Because our last name starts with a Z. We got two letter A's, a T, we got an R, two letter E's in the silver, C in the gold, two W's, and those are both in the silver. We 
we got some more gift tags. A bunch of little cardboard gift tags in there you just fold over. So I'll keep those as well for next year. These are freaking adorable. This is hand crocheted set with faux fur trim. And these are for like newborn pictures. There's a little Santa skirt and a Santa hat for a baby girl. How cute is that? And then we have one for a little boy. It's like a little elf. Look at how stinking cute, right? Oh my God. So cute. I will keep these and sell those, of course. Um, wooden hangers. Only one is broken, so there's four out of the five that are good. So I'll use those. We got some Tommy Bahama um, nine glass ornaments. But those are still good. I will sell those. We got three packs of Tom Smith Christmas crackers. And there's six individual wrapped packs in each box. Oh, those place cards go with this. Contain six coordinated place cards. So those place cards I found, those were th these. So those are cute. Napkin rings. How many is in here? Set of four. Those are not my style, but they're cute. And then lastly, we got 34th and Pine uh, set of 40 shatterproof ornaments. And I love these colors. I think I'm going to keep this for my tree for next year. And those were originally $12.99. And that, my friends, is it. Wait, no, it isn't it. I left the best thing for last. Sorry. We got this holiday stocking holder. Just says Noel. They had this clearance down all the way to $7.99 and still couldn't sell it. It just says Noel, and then you can hang your stockings from it which I think I'm going to keep this. I have one that says peace that I need to fix. So I'm going to fix that and sell that one at the yard sale. And I'll keep this one since there's four of us in our family. And hopefully our new house will have a fireplace that I can put this on top of. And that, my friends, is everything that I found in the dumpsters on Monday night. I didn't find anything um, like a super big piece of furniture or something super expensive. But everything I got is stuff that I can either sell at my yard sale, donate, or keep for myself. And to me, that's what I go looking for. So that's a plus. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out my awesome haul. Today is Wednesday. I do work, but I only have to waitress. So Wednesdays, I like to go to the Dollar Type Store dumpster that I got all those renews it's from because I score big there every time I go there on Wednesdays for some reason. So fingers crossed that we have some luck there and then I'm gonna probably stop at some other ones as well. So I will bring you guys along for blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, I can't talk. <sighs> so I will bring you guys along with me tonight to go diving and hopefully we find some good stuff. Oh, do you like my dumpster sweatshirt? Yep, got this out of the dumpster too. <laughs> I think the socks too. I did get the socks out of the dumpster. I'm wearing a dumpster ensemble today. But anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys.